Hello everyone, today I'm giving my first impression of Something's Wrong With Us by Natsumi Ando. And this author is the author who also wrote Arissa and Kitchen Princess. So in the sense, I feel like this is sort of a mashup of both of those because Arissa has that sort of mystery uh, revenge plot while Kitchen Princess has the food element. So just kind of a background on this, we have now our main character here who whose mother worked at, temporarily worked at this um, famous confectionery shop called Kogetsuon. Could be saying that wrong, but basically she's working there temporarily and now and Tsubaki, which is the son and I guess heir eventually of this confectionery shop, kind of like interact, generally um, happy, but then one day they find, or I guess now finds basically the father's dead in the house with Tsubaki over his body and Tsubaki blames the mother, uh, now's mother for the murder. So we don't know for sure who did the murder, but we see sort of fast forwarding to the main sort of timeline of this plot we have now who's about 21 and she's basically out for revenge and finding out sort of who killed the father and why her mother was blamed for the murder. So throughout this manga here I think in terms of art I think it's pretty great. It's pretty solid throughout. The character designs are nice and distinguishable. The confectionery aspects are also really cool. I'm trying to find at the end here. We have a bunch of different confectionery, so it does look like the author did some research in terms of what that's about, but I think you would have both sort of strong-headed <laughs> main characters who are clearly passionate about confectionery and their customers, which is kind of nice, and we see sort of the interactions here, and kind of throughout this here we see now come back to the confectioner's shop and sort of find her way back here to find out more um I guess slight spoilers in the plot we now does I guess and one of the um I guess competitions to get the tea to make the sweets for a tea ceremony uh, runs into Subaki and they sort of um, compete on that however due to the shop's notoriety and I guess fear of being sort of I, f I forgot what they said but basically blacklisted from them if they didn't take the job we see that but um yeah so I like both our main characters here they clearly both have individual motives uh, for what they're doing the whole we don't really know much about the relationship but they're both very forward and I think strong-willed so it'll be very interesting to see sort of their interactions later on and again I do like some food manga so with food being a sort of main aspect on here I think it's really neat and to see sort of her sort of struggling through stuff as well so I'm excited to see where this volume goes I will definitely be picking up another volume here because I think the mystery is interesting and our main characters are likable. And it seems uh, that a lot of stuff actually happened in this volume. So I think we'll see a lot of sort of twists and turns in this story here. And I am a little wary just in terms of where the mystery will go. In terms of how it's handled. The other work by this author, Arissa, I don't think was handled the best just because I don't think it was quite as interesting and sort of thought out in terms of sort of the ending and sort of mystery behind that one. I think could have done better. However, I, these characters in this story are a lot older and I do, I do believe that sort of this was planned out from the start or at least it seems to be well thought out so far from this first volume. So definitely recommend checking this one out if you like sort of... Um, some older characters with sort of confectionery sweets background along with sort of a mystery revenge plot 
sort of in the backdrop as well in terms of that. So a lot of characters at play. Interesting story. I definitely recommend trying this out if that sounds interesting to you. And I also recommend if you do end up liking this first volume, depending on sort of what sort of side you like of that, I would recommend checking out Kitchen Princess as well by this author. However, it's definitely a, more of a shoujo story versus this one, which feels more like a Jose. I'm not entirely sure which that one is, but you can pick this first volume up by Kadansha. It just came out recently. And volume two, I believe, will be out in another, t I think, September? I, in a couple months. So definitely recommend checking this on out if you can.